What's up everybody, Kev here back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about Skate specifically, Skate, Skate 3, all that good stuff, running in 4K on our PC using a PS3 emulator. We're also going to show a couple other games as an example of what else can be done on this emulator, but overall we're going to be talking about Skate with E3 coming up, 2019 E3. I'm hoping, everyone's hoping for Skate 4, but in the meantime, if we can't get that Skate 4, we at least have Skate, Skate 3, etc. on PC running at 4K, upscaled, all that, and higher frames per second. As you can see in the right corner, I'm using footage, and it is running around 60 frames per second at 4K. I will be going over a couple examples and showing you background footage and other games, and then how to download this program, how to set it up, all that good stuff and more. So let's get right into the video now. Now the PS3 emulator that I'm talking about is called RPCS3. I've done a video on it before, but now that all these things have come out and things have gotten fixed with Skate and the upcoming release of E3 and talks of Skate again, I figured why not be a perfect time to jump on it and show you guys how to get back into Skate and get ready for that announcement that I hope is to come. So yeah, first thing you're going to do is check the link in the description. The description is going to have all the links you need for every single download, every single setup, all that stuff and more. So go ahead, check the link in the description, and let's get this set up. It says the RPCS3 is still in early stages of development, and the binaries we produce are highly experimental. So as you can see, you have the latest builds, you have a download for Windows, a download for Linux. So we'll go to the About section. Right here it says RPCS3 was founded by programmers DH and Hikeem. Sorry if I mispronounced that. The PS3 library is completely 37% playable, meaning 37% of the entire PS3 library, A through Z, is fully playable from beginning to end right here will be a list of all playable games what games are available in game meaning you can get into the in game but it isn't letting you finish it what's loadable what doesn't work at all what at least is booting up an intro screen the minimum system requirements are any 64 capable processor uh, OpenGL 4.3 compatible or greater gpu at least two gigs of ram and a Windows OS or Linux. And on its recommended system requirements, it's saying it's an Intel quad core and above, uh, AMD hexacore and above for the GPU, at least Vulkan compatible AMD or an NVIDIA card, eight gigs of RAM or greater, and of course, running on Windows 7, 8, 10, or Linux 64. Get all that stuff, and then you will need to grab the PS3 firmware files. It says, due to reasons we cannot distribute official PS3 firmware files, you must download the latest PS3 firmware file from the site. It will link you to where you can get that PUP file. Both Blu-ray and PlayStation Network titles must be placed into a single folder with their respective files, and the folder name must correspond to the title's ID. So it's telling you where you can find your region ID, all that stuff for your backups, if you want to go ahead and load up backups of your ps3 and be able to play them on here i went ahead and downloaded it you can go and download it yourself link is in the description down below for the website and i'm just going to go ahead and set up my stuff set up my uh, language and my audio and my cpu make sure that my dimensions are all right so as you can see you have all kinds of different settings here you have your ui colors emulator settings whether you want to exit rps3 when you close it little simple things like that you do have a configuration chart for your controller you are able to plug a controller into here and you can go ahead and configure that for the way you want according to your games it says we currently support keyboard and mouse input devices as well as the native dual shock they said they plan to add additional input methods in the future but if you have a dual shock 3 you can use the scp driver package but if you do not you're going to have to go ahead and just use a dual shock 4 now that you got the gist of RPCS3, what it is, what it does, how it works, how to download it, how to set it up, you're good to go. And I'm going to show you some clips of the games that are fully playable and how they look. Some of them are running at 4K because you know using an emulator you're able to upscale. So some of them looking better than the absolute original and you're getting higher frames as well. So let's check these clips out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
games are looking really really amazing to be honest i have the rpc s3 emulator set up myself i've been playing some games i've been playing my backups uh, i do have a ps3 i'm sure people who are subscribed to my channel already know i have a ps3 and tons of games but i like to mess with emulators i like to be able to mess with upscaling i like higher frame per second you know just some improvements on these games the best i can by playing them on B pc so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it does help. Links are in the description down below. I did link the website and YouTube channel for RPCS3, uh, the world's first open source PlayStation 3 emulator. You're just gonna go ahead, install the application, get that system PUP file, PUP file, that's the Windows PS3 update file, and right on the website, it's gonna guide you. It's a couple steps, that is it. Hook up your controller, play your backups, and we're good to go. I hope this video did help, and I hope you're now enjoying playing your backups, upscaled, higher frame per second, and more. This is Kev. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I do drop weekly content around tech, gaming, movies, TV, much more, so I know you'll enjoy something I have coming along to this channel. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoy your week. This is Kev, and I'm out.